Let's take another quick look at the Spurs script and uh, point out some things that are kind of useful to do. It's great to have the first line in your script uh, remind you what it is. I put the name of the script and, uh, and what the script is, uh, is operating on. Then it's real easy to reference to that. Remember that when we're doing this, what, we were, what we've been doing is, having, is uh, setting the working directory where it needs to be. You can do that in your copy of R so that you don't have to do this by hand all the time. But I'm going to just copy that and uh, put it in here. Now in this particular script, there's a number of things that we've done here. We're going to read in the Spurs data, put it into Spurs, then we're making a scatter plot with it, and we're worrying about all the details of making that work. Now down here, I've listed what it's going to take to create this document, this, uh, this scatter plot, and save it as a PNG file. I could have just as well put a JPEG here or a PNG. Uh, put a put a JPEG uh, here. The thing that I need to do is is say what the name of this file is going to be, and I'm going to call the file um, Spurs Scatter Plot, and it's going to save this file because I'm not putting any directory. It's going to save it in our stuff. And so I'm going to be careful to name these so that any plots that I make for the Spurs data begins with Spurs and then uh, says some other stuff on there. Because it's a PNG file, I want to put a PNG on this. So that, that command is telling R that whatever comes next is going to be stored, instead of going to the screen, is going to be stored uh, in this particular PNG file. And then when we're done, then we need to turn that process off with the, the, the div dot, dot off uh, command. Okay, so, so that's the way this script is all set up. And we have now set things so that it will, um, so that R is looking at our stuff uh, to, to see how to operate things. And this script is stored in our stuff. So I can now just say source. Uh, remember the, the name of that, that script. See, I can, I can see the name right there. That's one of the reasons that I like to put it on that very top line. Is uh, spurs.r. And now that source will run all of those things. Now let's check and see what it's going to run. It's going to read the data, it's going to make a scatter plot that it will show on the screen, and then it's going to save that, uh, that scatter plot to a PNG file. Okay, so away it goes, and by golly, there's the one that it made to show on the screen. And if you go and look in your directory, let me see if I can pull that down so you can see it. Uh, so I've, I've gone to, uh, to my documents, our stuff, that place that I'm storing it at, and there's that PNG file. That's how the PNG file gets made. Okay.